Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rust Lords, Black Hearts, and Reapers, Fortnite Season 9 is only a few weeks away, and with each and every passing day, more and more leaks, rumors, secrets, and teasers are being released, both intentionally and unintentionally. And today, we have some of the craziest leaks and rumors for you guys regarding Fortnite Season 9. Our Discovery skin has officially been revealed, and the person behind the mask just might be one of the biggest threats to the Fortnite island in history. The volcano is getting closer and closer to erupting, and that's not even the only one-time event that appears to be on the rise in the final few weeks of Season 8. And in general, there is a ton of exciting stuff about to unfold on the Fortnite island, so today we're filling you guys in with the latest Season 9 leaks and rumors. What's up guys and welcome back to the Simply Fortnite channel and thanks for stopping by. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turns on. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like rating on it. And now without further ado, let's take a look at some brand new Fortnite Season 9 rumors and leaks. For starters, and for anyone who hasn't seen our previous Fortnite Season 9 leaks and rumors videos, we know that as of right now, Season 9 appears to be starting on Thursday, May 9th, as the in-game timer on the Battle Pass screen here in Season 8 ends on Wednesday, May 8th. So be ready, because we have less than one month to go until Fortnite Season 9 releases, and the entire Fortnite island as we know it could be receiving the biggest map update to date. And let's just jump right into the biggest chunk of information we have right now regarding Season 9. And that of course lies with the Discovery skin, also known as Ruin. Earlier last week, Fortnite tweeted out a very cryptic tweet with the caption, Ruin is coming, alongside an image of what appears to be a brand new character. However, Ruin is coming is the only piece of information that that tweet disclosed about what exactly was being teased to us. Immediately, players were wondering if this was going to be a brand new item shop skin or some kind of new event or even a new limited time mode, but it turns out that Ruin is actually going to be the Season 8 Challenge skin and can be unlocked by completing the Discovery Challenges alongside 55 individual weekly challenges. Which of course means that here in Week 8 of Season 8, which is just coming up in a few days, Ruin will no longer be coming, Ruin will be here. Fortnite then later tweeted out saying, Battle Pass owners, prepare for Ruin. The Week 8 Battle Pass outfit has been revealed. Complete your weekly challenges now to unlock Ruin in Week 8. Now here's the thing. Ruin is not going to be like any of the other challenge-based skins. Ruin is going to be extraordinarily more impactful in-game, and here's why. Back in Season 4, we had no prior teasing of the Blockbuster skin until it was revealed in Week 7. In Season 5, we had no prior teasing of the Enforcer skin until it was revealed. In Season 6, we had no prior teasing of the AIM skin until it was revealed. And guess what else? In Season 7, we had no prior teasing about the Fire King until he was revealed. But now, here in Season 8, two weeks before the Discovery skin was going to be revealed and unlocked, Fortnite decides to unleash the chaos and reveal to the world who the Discovery skin is. So, why the sudden change of pace? What makes Ruin so special that he gets his own reveal before he's even available? Well, the answer to that, my friends, actually lies in the reveal picture that Epic Games showed us in that second Ruin-related tweet. You can see in this image that Ruin is actually standing inside of a lava pit, either in the volcano or in the dusty divot digging site, which means Ruin has the power to harness the power of the volcano, which is undeniably the most powerful object on the Fortnite Island right now. And, I mean, we've been predicting all season long that the volcano was going to erupt. And now that Ruin appears immune to lava, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that the volcano is about to pop its top in the final few weeks of Season 8. Now, the name Ruin, in and of itself, is pretty menacing as is. I mean, what is going to be ruined? What is going to happen when Ruin arrives? Is the map going to be ruined? Is Dusty Divot going to be ruined? Is the game going to be ruined? Oh wait, that third one? That's actually already happening because they won't revert the changes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Except not really. Epic, please. Anyways, Ruin is clearly connected to the volcano and the digging sites, meaning whatever comes of these digging sites is going to play a massive role with the map changes in Season 9. And seeing that, as of the time of recording this video, we have three different digging sites on the map, 
between Paradise Palms, Dusty Divots, and Loot Lake, the Season 9 map update is going to be a doozy based off of that information alone. But for now, we'll leave Ruin to rest, as in the coming days and weeks, we'll be talking even more about our Season 8 Challenge skin, and instead now we'll shift focus to that other one-time event that has players both excited and also worried. The pirates that came to the Fortnite Island when Season 8 started have played a massive role in the treasure hunt storyline so far, but was the hunt for buried treasure the only thing that these pirates brought to the island? It seems not, because Littered around Lazy Lagoon are some very ominous references to a beast that mankind has feared for centuries on end. I'm talking about the Kraken. And the Kraken appears to be on its way to the Fortnite Island to attack and destroy at least a part of the map. Now, here's what's really crazy about this Kraken rumor. The Kraken event, as players are referring to it as, might not just be an ordinary one-time event. Well, not that any one-time events are ordinary, but what I mean by this is, is that the Kraken event might be the first one-time event of its kind in a community boss fight. We have, of course, witnessed a handful of events in the past, ranging from the rocket launch to the butterfly event to the ice storm and even the marshmallow concert. But here's the thing. The end goal with all of those events was simply to give the players an incredible viewing experience in-game. None of our live in-game events have ever needed us to interact with what was going on in any way, shape, or form. Sure, you could have emoted or built around an event and interacted with it that way, but that is strictly by choice. No event in Fortnite history has ever needed us to have mandatory participation, but a community boss fight event would certainly need all hands on deck if it were to become a reality. I mean, picture this. It's a Saturday morning and Fortnite has been teasing something big going down on the island at 11 o'clock. So you and all your friends jump into a match at 10.59 to witness whatever this event is. And when the clock strikes 11, massive tentacles rise from the ocean and a piercing screech is heard all across the island. And suddenly, above the eyes of the Kraken Beast, a health bar appears. And it's up to us, the Fortnite players, to defeat the Kraken and save the Fortnite island. I mean, if Epic Games really wanted to get funny and quite honestly trolly with it, they could even straight up either save the Fortnite Island or introduce a brand new second map to Fortnite based on the results of the Kraken event and put the reasoning behind it entirely on the fans, you know? They could say, oh, you beat the Kraken, it sure seems like you wanted to protect the Fortnite Island, I guess that means you all want it to stay. Or they could say, oh, you let the Kraken destroy the map. Well, I guess the Fortnite Island wasn't important enough for you to stop the Kraken from destroying it. So here's a new map. Let's, uh, let's try and keep this one safe, shall we? Now, obviously, that second part there is a little bit more outlandish. But hey, Epic Games is anything but ordinary these days. Let's be real here. So I wouldn't put it past them to actually have some pretty big implications behind a potential community boss fight event. Not to mention, we've also got two other pretty important details when it comes to the Kraken event, both of which originate in the main images of Fortnite Season 8. The first one lies in the main loading screen image for Season 8, where you can see all the different Battle Pass characters lined up on the edge of the island, guns drawn and fists ablazing, ready to fight off something that is approaching in the distance. And I'm just saying, a Kraken would be approaching from the sea, and well, it appears these characters are all lined up, facing something that is actually approaching from the sea. So, you know, just adding two and two together, it makes sense to me. On top of that, we also have our lobby background screen for Season 8, which does depict the pirate ship being docked inside of Lazy Lagoon. However, you really can't see a whole lot of that pirate ship because of all the various challenges that sort of block your view. However, Nutto Studios was actually able to see what this pirate ship looked like without all those challenges in the way, and the pirate ship is actually destroyed, and like I mentioned earlier, the Kraken would probably be taking revenge on the pirates over everyone else, and I'm just saying, if the pirate ship was docked in Lazy Lagoon, that's one of the easiest places for the Kraken to access, and so maybe, just maybe, the pirate ship is actually the prime target for the Kraken. With that being said though, that does effectively wrap things up for today. Be sure to let us know down in the comments below if you're going to be unlocking the Ruin skin later this month, and if so, how many challenges do you currently have completed? I don't know about you guys, but I think the Ruin skin looks absolutely awesome and is definitely worth that grind to unlock. 
Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like on it. Give it a big old thumbs up. It would be much appreciated. And if you are brand new here to the Simply Fortnite channel, feel free to subscribe with your post notifications turns on. That way you'll always know when a new video goes live. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Peace out.